if I were to talk about like our flagship playlist, um, when I say flagship, I mean the most popular playlists mm. in Pakistan that we have locally. Um, I don't know if you've recently heard about Pakka Hit Hai. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's essentially our hits hits playlist, um, but just for local hits. So it's the local hits flagship and it's like a brand that we've created for, for just the Pakistani audiences. And it's just curious, all the hit tracks, current hit tracks, um in pakistan um and i'm um, among others they're like there's hottest pakistan which is also super popular which kind of curates the hits they're not just local but all the all the hits from uh, that right. the pakistan audiences are listening to right now i would want to listen to and then there's desi hits is also super uh popular within south asia it's kind of like a um south asian flagship hits flagship i would say uh so it curates um the best uh and the most like like hit tracks in south yeah. asia right now um, so yeah, those. I, I mean, the thought process, of course. If I were to talk to uh, talk about these three specific playlists, the thought process is very similar. That um, what are it's like a, it's like a combination of things, right? So the first thing that we think about is that what are the songs that currently people in the country are listening to? Sure. Um, and then of course the second aspect of it is that we look at what are uh, the tracks that will potentially become right. uh, hits. Right. Uh, and we, of course, like with these kind of playlists, we don't take major risk because they're supposed to be short, short hits. So, yeah. And yeah. So that hit. um, yeah, yeah. But now and then we, we, on the basis of our knowledge and, you know, our experiences, uh, we uh, like uh, basis of the expertise that we have, we kind of try and see that, is there a song that's on the rise right now that we can try out and maybe potentially it will become a hit? So just like this, there are other playlists that we have, like let's say Pakistani indie, Pakistani rock, Pakistani uh, pop and all of that. Those playlists as well, that's, that's where we um, try to see how a track's journey um, kind of happens from one playlist to another so it ends up eventually in the the hits playlists right. which are our flashers right. right so the first playlist for example you if you're an artist and you're really releasing a song um potentially the first playlist that it will probably go on is new music friday as right. soon as it's released um and then of course based on performances and how it's doing it moves from one playlist to another um we kind of so basically we created we've created an ecosystem where uh, a track has a very specific journey based on its performance. Sometimes it makes it makes its way to the hits playlist. Sometimes it doesn't. So it really depends how it's performing organically as well, um, and and so uh, and also like according to the support that we're giving them and how it's, how yeah. it kind of you know like works. Um, with that support, essentially. Right. Because obviously, I'd imagine, and this might be too corporate a question, but it is in Spotify's actual interest for more people to be listening. So you want the best songs, you want the most listenership. From a general, actual music ecosystem where you want more people to do better on the app, right? Because that creates that loop of artists getting onto Spotify, people finding their artists on Spotify.